Steph and Elliot here at the shops at Marina Bay Sands and today we're going to go on an epic food journey. So one of the big draws here at the MBS is actually the variety and quality of cuisine as well as exclusive celebrity restaurants. Now, I'm usually a hawker food boy so today I'm very excited for Seth to take me on this modern Asian food trail and I'll get to see all these modern twists to traditional dishes. These dishes we're going to see today are very easily recognised by Singaporeans but they're done with modern cooking techniques as well as high SES ingredients. So I hope you're starving. I am, I am. We have five restaurants, five dishes, one full day. Let's go! Let's go! So here we are at C'est La Vie on the 57th floor of Marina Bay Sands. Since we're at C'est La Vie where all the food is kind of like fusion, is that what we're having today as well? Yes, this is what we're having. Here we have the Wagyu beef short rib okay. that has been sous vide for 48 hours. And below you have the corn fritter as well as grilled corn all around it. Below the corn fritter you have polenta. What's right? polenta? Polenta. Okay, I've never had polenta in my life so it's I It's kind of green. Know. Right, and they usually, it's kind of grain, they usually make it into like a mash kind of thing. So it's oh, like, it's like okay. a, a Ang Mo congee actually. Okay, <laughs> I'm excited, I'm excited to try that. I've never had it yeah. in my life. So I'm going to try the beef. I'm going to try the whole thing in one mouth. Oh, you need to try the whole thing in one okay. mouth, is it? Okay, okay. Mm, that is good, that is good. Usually in rendang, you have all these sauces just like piling yep. on top, just traditionally in the hawker centre. This one, all the flavour is just, you don't see a lot of sauce, mm -hmm. it's all flavour just yep. caught inside <clears throat> of it. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. So it wasn't like drowning in gravy? No, 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 it wasn't. But still, when you taste the beef, you can definitely identify that you know, this is rendang. Absolutely. Yeah. So I we're going to move on to our next place after this? Uh, yeah, definitely. Let's but go. After our beers, after our beers. After we have all our right. beers. Yes, cheers. So here we have the truffle chicken yes. from Dakumi Yamamoto. Amazing one month old spring chicken uh -huh, uh -huh. is used. Uh, they add in this fried shoyu chicken stock of Japanese rice. They stuff it into the chicken and then they marinate the whole thing in white truffle oil. Oh man, double the truffle. Yeah. Awesome. And then oven roasted. Later on, it's also barbecued live in front of us. Uh, mm -hmm. There's some burnt straw that's added in the fire. So it, it gives the whole um, smoky fragrance as additional aroma mm -hmm. to the whole dish. And then to finish it off, he shaves Australian black winter truffles that are in season now. Okay. Uh, he just shaves okay. all over it. That's a lot of winter that's truffles. That's a lot of uh, yeah. winter truffles, yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's a bomb, man. This is the biggest <laughs> freaking truffle piece I've ever seen. Dude, usually, usually I eat that packet of chips with truffle and like then oil. it's truffle oil only, right? Yeah, it's my person having an actual piece of truffle. If you're some like fancy friends who want to try chicken rice but like, you know, not at Hawker Center, this is the place to go. This is the place to go. <laughs> no, I would definitely recommend. Okay, yeah. so I'm a, I'm a bit packed right now but we still have... Only your second day. Yeah. But I'm, I guess we still uh, have more to go, so... Yeah, okay. Hope you're doing well so far. I'm doing good, thank you. Thank you so much for All looking right, after man. me. On the next one, man. All right, so we're here at Justin Flavors of Asia. It's opened by the esteemed celebrity chef. Justin Quack. That's right. And what we have right here is the lobster hokkien. The dish of my dreams. <laughs> I've been Hong thinking about this for a long time. Yeah. The lobster hokkien mee. I, I, I literally had dreams of it last night. Love hokkien mee. The stock itself, so normally it's pork broth with prawns. Prawn shells and stuff, uh, but this one they use lobster shell, which is then fried into this hokkien mee. There's generous servings of uh, lobster meat as well in this hokkien mee version. I cannot mm. wait to try this. Are you a huge fan of hokkien mee? Yes, I'm a big fan of hokkien mee. Can I'm a big fan. Yeah. yeah. Can please, 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 please. <laughs> okay, no, no, no. You know what? We, what? we need to like lime this shit. Oh, okay, you lime yeah, this. I'm, I'm gonna lime this. Okay, lime it. Ah. That is sublime. <laughs> And of course, we can't forget to make some of the look at me greater. Look right? at that! Look at meaty, that! Meaty, meaty oh. lobsters. Oh. oh my lord! I've eaten a lot of Hokkien mee in my life. This is definitely top three. I've never had any other Hokkien mee with lobster before. This is my top one. Ah, okay. 
my top, top one, one lobster hokkien mee. Yeah. Super, super. It is super local. I think the most Singaporean, yeah. like signature Singaporean dish we've had. Yeah, we're talking about like modern twist. Just adding the lobster itself made mm -hmm. a big difference in terms of taste, but also mm -hmm. very recognizable. Can't wait for the next place. Can I can I tap out this first before yeah. I go to the next place? <laughs> Leaves up for the crew, man. Oh yeah, okay, can. All right, so we're here at Chinoiserie, and it's also operated by celebrity chef Jason Quack. So you can see the interior is really sleek, modern, Asian touches here and there. Yeah, okay. very playful. And yet, the setting itself is very classy. Alright, so today we're going to have the foie gras, dark foie gras xia long bao in oh. golden broth. Whoa, it's really golden. Yeah, it's <laughs> I golden. mean, I wasn't expecting it to be that golden, but it really is. I love the, I love the little touches on top. Is that truffle? That looks like a small piece of hamon in Berico or something. Oh, right, right. And this one I know is... It's gold dust, it's gold dust. The one I use for my weekend makeup. Yeah, it yeah. doesn't really taste like anything, it's just, I, I think, purely uh, aesthetic. is it? Okay, yeah. cool. Purely, purely aesthetic. Let's go for it, let's go for it. Right. Mmm. 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 This one is really good. That's insane. Like that. I thought it was going to be like thicker. Yeah. But the moment I, I just like nibbled down a little bit, cool. Mm -hmm. Oh man, this is by far my favorite. Out of all, the, out of all the dishes, out of all so the far. restaurants that we've had. Okay, this, this is my favorite. So far. I would say that so far this is my favorite too. Yeah, yeah. It's really good. Thank you, Mr. Justin. Yes, Quack. <laughs> the chef Justin Quack. Yeah. That was amazing. I don't know what your secret is. I would like to know, but I don't know. But it tastes really good. Good. Yeah. Let's get on to the next place, man. Next place after I finish right. the wine. Right. Yeah, you cannot always forget. always finish I mean, the wine. Yes. Wow, Seth, you told me you're bringing some high SES places today. This one really looks and feels like it. So we're at Punjab Grill, which is a Punjabi restaurant in Singapore. Guess what we're gonna have here? Um, curry. <laughs> yes. Yes. Good job, Sherlock. I'm great. <laughs> Got it. I'm great at this. Yes. Oh. Ooh. Okay, so this is. What is that? Kaffir lime curry? Curry, curry yeah. It's fish curry. Kaffir lime fish curry made with coconut cream mm -hmm. and sea bass as the fish and kaffir lime, obviously. That's awesome, that's awesome. Yes, yes. It's served with a side here of basmati rice. I think it yeah, goes yes. really well together. So, yeah, I, th I think it's weird to eat curry just by itself. So, obviously, um, let there's me get rice. Some rice. Let me get, get some, some rice. Let me get some rice. Oh, oh okay, Thank okay. You. So, so. Thank you. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's good to curry for you. You can get the, the right amount of curry. Because, you know, we might not know exactly how much curry is good for this amount of rice. I mean, just put that aside so, you know, you can mix your own yes, you amount of curry. Yeah, it should, should be okay. Thank you. Out of all the Asian foods that we've had today, right. this is just really the biggest upgrade in terms of what I'm like conventionally know uh -huh. fish curry to be. Uh -huh. This is rich, it's very powerful, the coconut. Sea bass is like premium right. fish. I think the blend, the blend is a lot more refined, you know, compared to like, you know, the, mm. the normal curry, which like gives you a big kick. Um, this one like gently caresses you. Mm, you know, for sure, for like sure. More refined take on curry. I agree, I agree. Oh man, I'm so glad we got through those five dishes. Yeah, I'm stuffed, man. What was your favorite dish? Uh, I think it had to be the lobster Hokkien Mee. Yeah. Right. Just the most succulent flavors I've ever had in Hokkien Mee. How about you? Right, my favorite was probably the foie gras. Oh, yeah, that was pretty good. I mean, when you popped it in, that, that 10 seconds of like yeah, explosion bursting in right? flavors. Yeah. We've got to come back next time and have more of it. For Definitely. sure, for sure. I need like 10 of these, man. If you guys are interested in coming down to the shops at Marina Bay Sands to try these dishes themselves, please come on as well and let us know in the comment section below which is your favorite. We'll see you guys in the next food trail. Bye!